Good evening. I'm here today to discuss some home inventions uh, that I have made over the course of the past, not very long actually, I'd say at most, uh, really within the year, excuse me. <clears throat> and uh, I personally, I don't know what's going on my nose here, I think I'm, it's the camera, it's causing that. I uh, personally uh, find these, I'm proud of, of my home inventions, I want to make that clear. Uh, you may not like them, um, but I hope you do. Uh, let me let me start off with one of actually my best items uh, that I've invented for uh, my apartment. Um, I'm very proud of it, as I mentioned already. I'm repeating myself. Excuse me. I think I inherited the itchiness from my dear mother. She she used to scratch a lot. Uh, I'm not sure she does it so much now. Uh, her legs when she was sitting down. Mm -hmm. But, okay, invention. First of all, I, I want to say one thing, actually, and that is that <clears throat> uh, my general philosophy towards life is that I want to live... Oh, wait, one second, please. Okay, thank you. How ironic. Um, the bells toll as I'm talking about living. Mm. Okay, do not ask for whom the bell tolls. I want to live before I die. All right. I, I would imagine most of us want to stay alive before uh, we um, cease to live. I think that makes sense. So that's my my modus operandi, so to speak. Well, so to speak. Now, uh, let me show you my first invention here. Uh, as I have said, it, it is perhaps my most prized and esteemed domestic home invention. I'll, I, I'm going to have to, excuse me. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now, oops, here's the thing. Now, see, now I'm itching a lot or scratching a lot, both. This is one of the highest caliber inventions I have and uh, it is a it's not a fixture, bathroom fixture, but it, it is for the bathroom. Uh, how boring to start off with the bathroom. Please forget I just said that. Now, okay, this is the handle uh, to a mop, but let me start out with what's interesting here. Okay, this <coughs> is, as you can see, well, you can't see actually, I'm going to have to raise this up a bit. This is a bucket. Uh, at least I think it is. I'm not, I may have actually, this may not actually originally have been intended as a bucket, I want to say that, but it serves as a bucket, the black uh, container below. The white container uh, on top, it's not actually a container, the, uh, looks like a, I guess, a upside down bowl. Now that, I should really should have had a table. This is ridiculous. Let me go get a table, okay, so I can display this. I'll be right back. Excuse me. I'm going to have to... Uh, should I put this on pause or not? Huh. I don't know. I could grab that table pretty quickly. I know it's not professional, but let me grab it right now. And uh, I'll be right back. Uh, try to enjoy yourselves. I would be playing some Muzak right now, but uh, I haven't yet uh, done that. Uh, I'm going to have to do that, download some Muzak or find a Muzak station, precisely for when this happens, this kind of event. Now, I hope you forgive me, but I'm not going to wash off the table, because that would take time, the surface. Let me actually, you know what, I will, if you don't mind, I'll do it in your presence. So that, uh, that way uh, I can keep you entertained as I, uh, okay, clean the table. 
It's actually down here. I know you can't see it in the camera. When I have uh, a cameraman, uh, he would have been able to show you this table. And uh, let me tell you, it's a hell of a table. I'm sure you'd find it very, very interesting. Okay. There we go. I just cleaned off the top of the table. Just like my mother always wanted me to do. And still wants me to do. Which is why I don't invite her here. No, just joking. Sorry, Mom. And, uh, okay. There's the table. Let's move the chair out of the way. That tends to interfere. <coughs> And, uh, okay, here we are. Here's my mop invention. It's not a mop invention. It's a mop container invention. Now, as you can see, let me actually lower the, uh, well, then you won't see my face. Hmm. What am I going to do? Let's see if I can lower that a bit. Yeah, okay, there it is. Forgive the books in the background, please. And maybe I should sit down so you can see my face. Now, I know that's a very uh, unpleasant fact of life that you have to see my face. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Let me uh, uh, zoom it in a bit. You see I'm very high tech. There we go. And let's see how that looks. Okay, I'd say that's good enough, right? I mean, I don't know. my head is still slightly cut off at the top. And oops. Let me get that a little bit down, a little more. Okay, that'll have to do, I suppose. <laughs> now, here we are. This is my invention. Now, I want to point out, as I said, the bottom is the bucket. Now, it holds the mop, as you can see. This is the handle uh, on top, the wooden handle. As you can see, I'm holding on to the handle. Now, what's original about this, uh, this um, container device, or containment device, is that none of this was intended for, this, for the purposes herein used. Um, these items that make up this, the components that make up this entire piece, that form a, a, a higher function, if you will, than any of the individual parts uh, by themselves, that is the function of a mop holder, uh, none of those individual components was actually made for the, the purpose I've now used them for. See, that's called an invention. Well, it's a kind of invention, at least. I don't know what kind, but it is one. So, <coughs> let me show you what I like about my invention that is in my restroom, my bathroom, my John, and other names all the time. Now, let me button on my shirt. I apologize uh, for not having my shirt buttoned properly at the bottom there. Last time it was the top that was unbuttoned too much. So, now the thing is, okay, here, here's, here's what's interesting about it. This white uh, half globe, okay, let me take it off at the top, okay, because it has a hole in the center. And as you can see, well, as you will see as soon as I hold it up properly. Can you see that hole? Yeah, you can, you can see me through that hole, right? Yeah, there's the hole, and there's my eye. Uh, this was originally from a stand-up lamp that I purchased at, um, should I name the store? I don't know. I'm going to have to get them to pay me to use names. Uh, but it was a discount uh, pharmacy type drug store, large, you know, with all the items of stationery, shampoo, the whole thing. Big, big place. Uh, and uh, warehouse size, almost. Uh, yeah, warehouse size. Uh, in my neighborhood where I live. And this was actually the bowl that went inside the lamp shade uh, to it's plastic. Uh, and I imagine that was designed... Oh, no, 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 it wasn't that. This was actually the shade, excuse me. Uh, and uh, the, the, the column or the rod of the lamp, uh, which was a stand-up lamp, this, this hole was used to slide it through that, slide the rod through that hole. 
Now it came in two colors, the lampshade. Let me uh, let me grab the other one. Uh, I didn't have a chance to clean this one off. I'm sorry, and I don't think it needs to be cleaned off though. As you can see, they gave me the option of two colors. This one is kind of a neon green, you might call it vomit green. Uh, I like, I prefer this color less. I like this color less. So, where are we? What I realized was that I did not, I could not find the right kind of, like the uh, uh, strainer, the, those, those um, uh, bucket-like devices with wheels on the bottom that public school janitors use uh, to mop uh, the, uh, <clears throat> what you might call it, the floor. And, uh, you know, those shiny public school floors that are so pretty and pleasant in the hallways. I didn't, I couldn't find one of those. And uh, so I, that, that fit my needs. So what I decided was I'd better make something because I couldn't leave this scroungy mop, as you can see. There it is. I'll give you a close-up. It's dripping a little bit. I could not leave this scroungy mop, uh, it's like a wig, like a witch's wig, or Medusa's wig, or Medusa's hair. Snakes. Don't look, you'll turn to stone. Now this mop, uh, I did not want to leave uh, in my bathroom either up like this, which would keep it hopefully, which would dry it out or down like this, splat on the floor, right? Because that's just ugly and it would stay wet and mildew and so on. It wouldn't have a chance to air out. So I had to figure out uh, an elevated surface to put it on top of with a space below to receive various drops of water um, other than the floor. So what I did was I took an old strainer that I've had for many years, just your normal household strainer and I found this bucket that you've seen this fine bucket I think it is I'm not sure well I it must have been a bucket look it's got a handle and I put the strainer you can hear the water I hope you can there's water in the bottom but it's tall so it's spacious and airy and I put the and that produces uh, dryness well uh, not a very good job and uh, I put the uh, strainer to be fair to myself, it's not a good job because I just dunked it in water. Otherwise, it's okay. I put the strainer, which happened to fit perfectly on top of the bucket, the, the black bucket, the fine black bucket, and then I placed it there. Okay, so it rests there. And as a consequence, it has a chance on top of the strainer to get some air and drip down and so on and not touch the floor. It's elevated. The floor is protected. You don't want moisture from this on the floor, who knows what it would do to the floor, right? even though there are tiles in the bathroom. However, this was not exactly pleasing to look at, uh, pleasant appearance. If you, if you look, you'll see, you see, this would be, this would be uh, visible in, in my bathroom in the corner by the pipe, hot water pipe, uh, which is vertical, and I'd be looking down on it, and if I had a visitor or a guest, I don't think that person would prefer to see it, especially if there was some romantic interest uh, going on. So I said I have to cover it. Now the lamp, okay, here's the thing, let me sit back down. The lamp that I had purchased on sale uh, did not construct correctly, as a lot of those stand-up, standalone lamps do. Um, I mean, what are they called again, you know, the, the long rod. And it had a base, a round base, that's supposed to serve as the base. And you screw in the rod in various parts uh, in sequence, like sausage links, and you screw them together uh, finally into the base, and the AC uh, cord goes up the rod. And then, of course, the, the, the bulb and the shade, this shade here, or the green one, whichever you may prefer, you have a choice. The Chinese are very kind in that regard. They give us a choice. Chinese manufacturers, I mean, and, and the labor. Uh, 
Yes, yeah, so you, you put the shade uh, on top, and it actually went like this, the shade, so that the uh, luminosity of the bulb would glow, uh, in, in theory, upwards towards the ceiling. Depending on the bulb you got, it would either glow or it would um, harshly grate, I guess, upon the ceiling and one's nerves. Now, so you'd put this on top of there. Okay, now the thing is the lamp, of course, the, the standalone, what are they called again? I just forgot the name I used it at the beginning. The tall standalone uh, lamp or floor lamp, that's the word. Uh, the links did not come together properly. Uh, the the uh, the threads where you screw each section of the of the uh, column supporting the lamp uh, uh, did not thread properly. Did not stay tight. So basically, it looked like a it, the, the the rod. What is that called? Did not stay straight. It was about four feet. It was about five feet tall. Uh, it was uh, uneven because each section, each link, uh, did not come together properly. As a consequence, the lamp didn't, it didn't look any good, unless you're really into abstract art or concept art, I should say. Uh, and uh, so I threw it out. I decided not to return it and go back there and go through the hassle of getting the money back. It wasn't worth it. So, but I noticed that I could keep this and this. And lo and behold, miracle of miracles, after I found the bucket and the strainer, and of course already had the mop, I realized that it would serve a purpose. Indeed, I would say a divine purpose. And that was, <clears throat> if you watch closely, or if you watch at all, which I hope you are doing at the present moment. If you see, uh, let me actually get, okay, let me take this on the side there. You see, watch. Now, don't get any ideas and do this at home. And don't think this is, you know, suggestive or rated X or anything like that. Your kids can watch this. Now, as you can see, it slides down the handle of the mop. You see that? all the way down to the bottom. Look at that. See how it protects it? It almost looks like a, a jellyfish, doesn't it? One of those sea creatures with the top and the floating part underneath. Now, then what I did, after I formulated the assembly here of this strainer on top of the bucket, then what I did was I placed it there like that. And as you can see, it goes neatly over it. And I think it's rather sophisticated and even perhaps cosmopolitan looking. And I say that because the white against the black is very New York. Well, usually just black is New York. But the white against the black is not pretentious, you see? Uh, it's kind of like a, a classic look that never goes out of style, right? You never, you know, waiters at fine establishments that are at least, at least here in New York City, tend to wear white and black. I haven't seen them wearing purple too often. Now the problem was that this other one, which waiters I don't think would wear except at certain establishments, was this color. And I decided against this color because I thought it was ostentatious and a bit flamboyant. And I thought for a moment maybe it could be tacky. Uh, self-consciously tacky um, and thus an artistic concept statement about who I am as a person pretending that I actually take this tacky stuff seriously and therefore mocking a certain identity trailer person and so on blah 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 kitsch I guess it's called I decided I did not want to uh, convey that ironic double message so I just decided to keep the white, to be humble, plain. White is a sign of peace and simplicity and chastity throughout most cultures in the world. Not all, I learned. I studied some white the other day, well, six months ago. I literally did. I studied the color white. Most uh, colorful experience. And uh, so there it is. Now, let me tell you, uh, there is a, a patent pending on this. 
uh, the Library of Congress or whatever it is. Uh, no, they don't deal with this. This is a form of intellectual property. It's high tech and cutting edge and you frankly I have revealed this to the world and I'm now beginning to regret it because I feel that this has uh, a possible future and uh, could be quite uh, remo remo excuse me, remunerative. Uh, so uh, please forget you saw everything here and uh, I do hope that um, you forgot all about this. Okay, have a good day until the next home invention. Maybe I, should I look at you just to say goodbye? I mean, isn't that what they're supposed to do? They look you straight in the camera, like on the news show. And uh, let me look up at the camera, at the glass, the, uh, what is it called again? Whatever. The eye of the camera. And uh, say goodbye to you to show you that I'm a serious, sincere person, just like the newscasters, whose news we can always trust. Good night and good luck. Thank <laughs> you.